Dancing for Him family. My name is Missy. I'm a level four student with Dancing for Him Ministries. And this is my five tips to help you get through all of those levels. First, I want to just say, get ready for a joyful, eventful growth learning experience. The first tip is to stay focused. Focus on a plan. Make a goal. Set a goal. It's important to write down your goals. Don't just have them in your mind. Write these goals down that you have for this year on how you want to uh, plan out your year. And it's really good to plan out month by month as well. It's okay to work ahead. That is definitely recommended, but don't get too far ahead or look too far ahead that you feel overwhelmed with everything. But make a plan and don't just look at this as a course or school. I want you to remember that this is a Christian-based course and this is an anointed school of learning. So make sure you're not missing the mark. Stay focused on learning and growing and having God show you what he wants you to learn and make that plan and stick with it. Tip number two is always begin bef before you start your assignments. Begin everyone with prayer. Even if it's just a short, quick prayer, do not forget to pray. This is very, very important. Um... You know, Thessalonians reminds us in the Bible, pray without ceasing as well. So pray before your assignment, pray during your assignment, and pray after your assignment to make sure that it is what God wants you to share with others, what God has for you to learn and that may minister to others. I promise you that you will find healing and such joy when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and not try to do it on your own. Tip number three, allow yourself grace. And do not compare yourself to other dancers. I know you've probably heard this over and over, but it is a horrible thing to do. And it will discourage you. It will make you feel powerless. And it allows that little crack for the enemy to come in and... Uh, and, and put voices in your head that you're not good enough. And you are. You are here. And uh, you are worthy. And you have all the tools that you need to get through this course. Also, um, embrace your uniqueness. You know, just keep in prayer about what God has for you. And you, we are all uniquely and beautifully and wonderfully made. God created us in his image to be Christ-like and holy. And comparing ourselves to other is, others is not Christ-like and holy. Yes, you can get ideas from others and enjoy watching others and maybe what they do. And if there's some things you'd like to change, that's fine. But embrace your uniqueness. For me, tip number four I had to stop watching my videos back, especially if you're in level one, this could become an obsession. You want to make sure it's perfect. And there is only one man who walked on this earth that was perfect. So allow yourself grace and stop watching your videos back if you find yourself obsessing over them. For me, in the beginning, I would delete videos for dumb little stuff. Such as, I didn't like how I looked, I didn't like the clothes I was wearing, I didn't like the way my hair looked, uh, I made a mistake, didn't pronunciate, ate something. Uh, now, I just, you know what? I just fix it and I keep going. I laugh at myself. Remember to laugh at yourself and your uniqueness. So, if you find yourself watching those videos over and over and deleting them, then remember to stop doing that. <laughs> And just don't watch them. Don't watch them till later, till they're already posted and then it's too late. So uh, this is something I have to do. And I will. We are our own worst critics. You know, we, we just are. So stop it.
<laughs> and last but not least, tip number five. Share with your family and friends your goals uh, for this school. Don't keep it a secret. I kind of did in the beginning. I didn't think anybody would really care. But share as well with your classmates. Uh, always asking for advice and prayer. Don't be afraid to ask people to pray for you and listening to what works for others uh, so that you may take bits and pieces and create it and make it your own. Remember to pray about distractions. Um, obstacles will come. Distractions will come. This ministry is anointed. The enemy does not like it and he seeks to devour and destroy you. Do not forget that and do not take it lightly. He will try to cause you to go off track. He will fill your head with horrible things. So stay surrounded. Remember, iron sharpens iron. So stay around those that sharpen you. If people are discouraging you, get away from them and get around people that are encouraging you, inspiring you. And remember, we are all in this together and keep dancing for him. God bless you until we meet on the next video.